Welcome back. The time now is 7.52. Martial arts is where it's at with thousands of children. Well, now parents are realizing its worth. They're finding the lessons learned are much more than just self-defense. Today, trainer Karen Baldwin and I are joined by one of St. Louis's foremost kickboxing expert as we go on the road to fitness. Hey, hey. Ernest Hart Jr. teaches what he loves best, kickboxing. But he'd be the first to admit being a four-time world kickboxing champ does not automatically make him a good instructor. That's the first thing a family should consider when choosing a martial arts school. If you look for your children especially, you want someone who gets along with kids well, who's having fun, who's enthusiastic, where they're having fun but they're also learning. Uh, for most adults, besides losing weight, a lot of them are doing it for self-defense. So you want to make sure that uh, instructor's qualified in what he's doing. And just because he has a thousand plaques on the wall with certificates and a bunch of karate trophies doesn't mean he's a good instructor. So the best way you can do is by sitting down and watching. If they don't let you and your child sit in on a class, that's not the school for you. Ernest volunteers his time for the Parkway School District and teaches one night a week in the Green Trails Elementary Gym. He likes the classes to be small and says at any school, the ratio should be one teacher to ten students. How much should I expect to pay? Okay, again, here's the thing that most people do. They get you in there, they're enthusiastic. They get you to sign a long-term contract. Never do that. Uh, the longest you should sign up for is six months. And on the average, it's anywhere from $80 to $90 a, a month. And that's, that's high then. And if the school promises you'll be a black belt in no time, run. It takes years to earn that designation. What about the physical aspect of it, Karen, in terms of the, you know, here I am an adult and I'm bringing my child in. How tough should it be? Well, I think, again, really the key is with the instructor. If the instructor's good, they will judge each child. Each child will develop differently, and so they need to monitor that and make sure that the child has a good experience but is also challenged. If we do it together, what, am, what are we getting out of it as a family? As a parent, child, it's, it's a wonderful support system. You can help each other, remind each other. Good things like remind each other when you're not in class to have good posture, have good breathing, and keep up the positive mental attitude as well as it's like a buddy system. Let's go. Let's exercise. It all fits together, the mind and the body. It's a good experience. It's a, it's a way to be a good role model. Yes, it is. Don't you think, Ernest? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, when two people get together, when a parent gets with a child and do, participates in anything, it's fun. So they have something in common, and that's the most important thing. So remember when choosing a martial arts school, consider your child's readiness and level of interest. Define clearly what you and your child hope to gain. Look for a certified professional school if your goal is to be trained in self-defense. Watch how the instructor handles the students. Ask about testing. Is it done in front of the class or privately? And trust your instincts. The school you choose should be well kept with a family atmosphere and lots of smiles.